Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Thursday and I have your word for the day. Have you ever heard the expression addition by subtraction? In the corporate world, sometimes there is an employee who is a little toxic. Uh, sure, they might get their job done adequately, but they weigh the rest of the employees down with gossip, with a bad attitude, complaining. But they've been at the business for 15 years and nobody wants to address it. Then a new boss comes in, sees the toxic nature of this person, and lets them go. Then, miraculously, the rest of the employees really begin to excel. That's an example of addition by subtraction. Jesus gave his followers an example of addition by subtraction. Listen to his words found in Mark 9, beginning in verse 30. Uh, verse 43. He writes this, If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It's better to enter eternal life with only one hand than go into the unquenchable fires of hell with two hands. In Mark 9, 45, he says, If your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It's better to enter eternal life with only one foot than to be thrown into hell with two feet. And in verses 47 and 48, he says, And if your eye causes you to sin, gouge it out. It's better to enter the kingdom of God with only one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into hell where the maggots never die and the fire never goes out. Now, let me tell you something. First and foremost, put down the knife. Jesus is not advocating gouging out your eye, cutting off your hand or cutting off your feet. But he is advocating addition by subtraction. Do you struggle with an addiction to pornography? Then get rid of your cell phone. Get rid of your, your TV. Get rid of your internet connection. Do you struggle with lying and gossip? Then be self-controlled and deny yourself and speak only words that build other people up. Addition by subtraction is a biblical principle. So what are the things in your life that you need to cut out? What are the things in your life that you need to stop doing? Discover what they are, then enhance your relationship with Jesus by taking immediate and permanent action to put a stop to your behavior. You know what that's called? Repentance. Repent of those things that are weighing you down and turn to Jesus as your source of peace and hope. And you can do that today. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, share it, leave a comment. God bless.